What is going on guys? Welcome back to MG Marine Tech. Today we are going to be going over forward facing sonar mounting solutions. Whether you have active target, live scope, mega live, whatever it may be, you are going to have to have some type of mounting solution to get your transducer in the water and up and running. Most of these kits come with mounting solutions that are meant to go on trolling motors. Really the only downside to this is that once you mount it to your trolling motor, you are going to be locked in to wherever that trolling motor is pointed. So you lose the option really of aiming your transducer. If you are a person that uses spot lock quite a bit, say goodbye to aiming your transducer. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. How do you get around that? Well, there are a ton of mounting options or dedicated poles on the market, but I don't think any of them really compare to the TKI CNC mount. Hands down, probably one of the best mounting solutions I have seen. I'm not paid to do this video. They didn't give me this mount or anything. I purchased this mount myself after doing a lot of research. I like it so much, I brought it into the store. Let's go over some of the options and features of the TKI CNC live scope or forward facing sonar pole. This is TKI's live sonar pole system. I'm gonna kind of go over it because when I first looked into purchasing one of these, I was a little bit confused myself on how it all worked and what came with the kit. So I hopefully I'm gonna clear a lot of this up. These can be purchased directly through MG Marine Tech as well. When you purchase one of these kits, you're gonna get several things with them. You're going to get a CNC rod holder. This is actually one of their trolling rod holders. Yes, you heard me right. This is a trolling rod holder. It is part of their live sonar system. It's got a quick release mechanism here. Very easy to use. These are all CNC aluminum anodized. They are built to last a lifetime. Very, very rigid and completely adjustable. So this thing has three pivot points in it in multiple directions. You're gonna get a mounting base. This darker piece right here will be in the kit. Uh, ignore this. This is actually for my boat. That goes right here. And again, like I said, fully adjustable. And then this collar right here screws it down and secures everything. And then depending on the option you pick, you will get a mounting base. Now this is their track system for like tracks tech tracks or Cisco tracks, things of that nature. I have tracks in my boat, so I will be using this at, at some point. Right now, I'm just using the Lund 45 degree mount from Brocraft. It worked pretty well. Bolt pattern lined right up. On to the meat and potatoes of this system is the actual pole. All aluminum, anodized construction, built in the USA. But you guys will probably pick up on something very, very quickly here. It has a built-in cable management and protection. The majority of the transducer cable is ran through the inside of the pole. This does a couple of things for you guys. Number one, it's gonna prevent your transducer cable from getting damaged. Number two, it is gonna prevent the transducer cable from being twisted up as you are using it. The transducer cable comes right off the top here and it's got nice rounded edges, so you're not gonna hurt anything. Nice long handle so that you can turn it. If you don't want the handle this long, you can just remove the rubber cap, cut it to length, slide the cap back on. It stores away very, very slim design when it's in the stored mode. Another thing I really liked about it. Now this right here is the piece that now then mates with the rod holder. I'm gonna show you guys that in action here in a second. It has O-ring design in the side of it that keeps tension on this mount. Even if you're using this while trolling, you can turn the transducer, aim it, let go of it, and it's not gonna be moving uh, all around. It's gonna stay relatively where you left it. It also has this collar up here, and this is just your depth setting. So if you want it to be shallower in the water, you move it down. If you want it to be deeper in the water, you move it up. Very, very simple construction. Those are oftentimes the best products are the ones that are very, very simple. I have just the factory Garmin zero degree LVS 34 mount and an LVS 34 on it right now. It's about as simple as it gets, but it is very, very effective, very light and very, very well built. Let's get this thing out on the boat. I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to store and deploy this system. Here we have TKI. CNC's live sonar pole in action. As you guys can see, this is a very sturdy mount. We have it deployed right now. I'm going to show you guys just how simple it is to remove the pole from the rod holder itself. Simply hit your quick release latch right there, take the pole out, and there you go. It is ready to be stored and or moved around the boat. If you wanted to get creative, you can order spare rod holders. So you can have a rod holder, say, in the back of the boat. 
one in the bow, one on each side of the boat. So you can simply take your live scope pole, transfer it around the boat to meet your fishing needs. If you don't want to do that, you can simply purchase uh, other mounting plate options so you can move the rod holder assembly around the boat as well. And again, this thing stores and deploys in a matter of seconds. Check it out. I have them available at mgmarinetech.com. You guys are in the market, please give me a shout.